the honorable the leader of the opposition nyabonga mongameli and uh, i want to highlight to gushu kuti mongameli section 91 and section 92 of the constitution implore you to account to this house nowhere else it also is effected to rule uh, triple one which highlights the fact that in fact the president must appear four times in this house let's reflect on the year that has passed and argue the case to say over and above the issues that you've raised the president had failed in fact to appear in this house last year from last year it's important because this gives us an opportunity not just through written question for us to be able to engage you like we are doing right now it's important for the people of this country that the president at least commits to complete the last session of the question and also commit to the people of this country that the answers to be given on that respective day that we agree with, that in fact they will be answered fairly and accurately to the people of this country. My question then to you, Mr. President, is that thank you for the dates that you have given. Are you willing before the people of this country, in the spirit of accountability, say that you will, before the programming committee meeting tomorrow, as we've had the discussion, commit to an additional day where the questions left over from the last time on the order paper will then be discussed and will be answered accurately and fairly. Can I request that the president, at least as president, to instruct the presidency to liaise <laughs> with the speaker that the date is agreed to by tomorrow's programming meeting for the people of South Africa. Thank you very much. The Honorable the President. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. <laughs> I'm happy that uh, the honorable member has given a background to why you are asking a question, why should we discuss and make a commitment? <clears throat> There's been never an occasion where this was required. Ever since I've been to this parliament, <clears throat> Yeah, just talk to your people if they want an answer. I'm answering you. I've just started. Somebody's talking there. That's what causes problems in your parliament. <clears throat> I've never been required to do so. Whenever parliament says I must come on anything, I do come. I've never refused. The background to the point you are making, I was standing here having not refused, having not dodged to answer questions in Parliament as you have been saying, <laughs> up to that day, I've never, and I was standing here, and I answered two questions of the six questions. The third one, I answered many times. I was answered by the EFF many times. I answered the question. They wanted the answer they want, not what I was answering. <clears throat> and they said they are not leaving until that question is answered. You were there. We are not going to leave this parliament until this question is answered. I had answered it. <clears throat> and instead of allowing us to continue and finish, they started doing what has never been done in this parliament, chanting songs on the question, and caused chaos in parliament. I was not able to proceed with the answers. On a point of order. <clears throat> I was not allowed no, the No, Honorable time. Ndozi. No, Honorable Ndozi. In the process of the that. The president uh, is answering a I question. Can you asked, take your seat? Uh, I was then asked, the order is for I'm the president. on uh, Rule 70 in the rules. Honorable Ndlozi. calling a point of order. And this is what happened on that day. Can I ask, can I honorable really member, this is what happened on that day. When I'm order. busy answering, uh, and some people stand up, speaker. and made it impossible for me 
Honorable answer Speaker, the question on the point of order. The end result, because it was Speaker. taken by your parliament, because mm. honorable Speaker, misbehaving. the matter of our they chaos were even, is in front of honorable, honorable president. Minute. Can you take the seat, Please, Baba? They were actually Speaker. they appeared before on a point the of disciplinary order. committee on the basis of that, honorable Speaker. Honorable this, President, this parliament honorable did not president. act honorably to me. They stopped me from answering questions. I never dodged. Honourable and you were busy President. from that time dealing with that issue. And what you have been saying in public is not true. That the president is avoiding, is dodging, is absolutely not true. Raising a point of Since order, that day, respectfully, nobody has ever said, here is a Honourable date come. Honourable President. Where do you get the fact that I have not answered the question. Honorable President, no. can I take There's that point of order? There's never been a date given Honorable to me to come to Parliament to answer questions. Why did Honorable you say, Speaker. did you ask me? Because Honorable I Honorable never dodged, I want that issue to be cleared. I've never dodged questions in this Parliament. I've never. On a point of order, Speaker, Honorable President. I've never, you asked a question, listen to my answer. And I'm Honorable saying it order, was Speaker. good to start with this background. Because you have been saying to the country, Can the, Speaker the President is dodging the Speaker to answer the questions of the in Parliament. The I'm saying it is not true. This Parliament, since that day, has never asked me to come and answer questions. I'd never dodged. There's never been a question that has been brought to me. That is a clear thing. Honorable Speaker, order. Now that you are asking the question, I'm saying I've never refused when Parliament says here is a date. I do not decide the Honorable date. Mr. 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 President, what we do, the Speaker has requested you, you for are an order. Giving no, Honorable Kadi, I never recognized you. We agree on the date with the parliament and once it's agreed i've always come i will always come if parliament has agreed there's no doubt about it honorable that president honorable president i'd like uh, to request the honorable the president to take a seat i want to take those uh,